I spend my Mondays like Fridays. I spend my Fridays in a box with my heart and my whining. I put my pinings on pedestals to the keep when I'm grounded. What's that mountain to nothing? Let's make some something from nada. Let's go to Gucci and Prada. Set the buildings on fire. Screaming death to designer while we listen to Ponder. I'm on a grown man, baby face, kind of a tangent. What up, Team Hawk House? Now I know you're wondering all about the chuck bucket. We'll get into that later. We're on the mountain and I'm ready to shred. We're at Sunlight Ski Resort. This is one of the smaller ski resorts in Colorado, so we're super excited to come here, experience it, check it out, and uh, let's go. Let's go check it out. Start it up. <laughs> it's, it's tight. Oh, you guys are both goofy. Oh, my little pony, my little pony. Run into the enchanted forest. Hold the bear! That was sick. I wish we could see the view from here. I'm pretty sure there's massive Colorado mountains there. But it's puking! Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Just whack the crap out of the camera. All right. This resort looks like it's so fun to just carve around and kind of just ride the mountain. They have like a tiny baby park. What up, boys? How's it going? Good, how are you guys doing? Good. You got this one? Dude, there's fresh snow everywhere. <laughs> what? Woo! Ah! It looks so good. Yeah, we gotta clean up the lens too. Sorry guys. This snow is so much more snow up here than down there. Elevation changes is no, real. More slashes. Here we go. We are going to do our best, guys, to make sure this isn't covered the whole time. All right, guys, we do got to take a break from this amazing day to mention today's video sponsor, the Chuck Bucket. You guys have already saw that at the beginning of the video, but that is the ski rack that I used to get my snowboard out here on this trip. Obviously, the Chuck Bucket is unlike any other ski rack that you have seen, but the best part about it is not only does it hold skis, snowboards, tons of them by the way like my expedition can take eight people we could put eight pieces of gear in that bucket if it doesn't exceed the weight limit of 100 pounds literally you could put like your golf clubs in there your vacuum anything that is not going to exceed 100 pounds you can put back in that bucket which makes it very versatile not just like a standard ski rack and i know you guys are thinking that the gear is just going to be shaking like crazy back there but they have this nice little bolt you tighten at the bottom kind of locks in the trailer hitch so it's not shaking at all around and then you tighten your gear 
gear down, you lock your gear up and it's just holds in there. So nice. So in our two hour drive to Glenwood, we had no shake, which was awesome. Now I'm sure you guys are thinking what I thought about the chuck bucket was it the, the gear's gonna get filthy back there. But surprisingly, it didn't get that dirty. And I feel like my snowboard gets a little dirtier when it's on the roof of the car opposed to behind it. So that was a surprise to me. So the chuck bucket is sick. Their website is linked in the description. If you're interested in the Chuck Bucket, check them out. Give them some love. It is, uh, I think it's pretty sick. So with that Chuck Bucket, thank you so much for sponsoring this video, guys. Go give them some love. It's sick. And now back to this awesome day. It looks like we got a full inch since our last uh, session. All right, guys, we're gonna do our best to keep the uh, snow off the lens, but it's puking. Dude, this is sick. This place is sick. It's pretty sweet. Like big open turns. That feels so good. Let's go some tree riding. Tight tree, tight tree. Oh my okay, gosh. Ready? There's only one thing we can do today. What? At least for now. Selfie cam, but not 360 selfie cam. So there's one option we can do, and that's to film like this for the day. Because as we're riding into the snow, we're getting caked with snow. We're just sick that we're getting snow. Like it's kind of like the only option. Coming down. <laughs> it, it is puking. Whoop. But it's gonna stop the camera lens from getting just caked with pow. And I can still do things like that, and you guys can see. So, camera tricks. Whoa. I can't see anything. I should put my clears on. Whoa. But there's a terrain park here. And we're gonna go into that because I can see these bright yellow signs. Oh, we came in at the lower end. Oh, looks like we got a little box. We got another box. Part for this thing. <laughs> so we're gonna get a quick step, stop at the car to get a chamois to wipe that. I'm gonna change my lenses. I think it's supposed to start snowing soon. Yeah. yeah, it definitely is gonna start snowing today. It's funny, my wife goes, you know it's gonna snow when you're there. I was like, yeah, that's good. But it's not good for making videos. It's also good for today's sticker shout out. We got Caitlin Harris with the pink camo sticker on the helmet, looking insane. As well as they have Alina underscore web with a lot of stickers. You got the park one, the ski orange on the tip of the skis, and the I think that's the Roman sticker on the bottom of the skis. Guys, thank you so much for snagging so many Evolution stickers. If you want an Evolution sticker, they're all linked in the description, as well as our hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves. And if you're a skier, we do have a ski version of the Evolution sticker. I forgot to say that. If you snag any merch, it supports our traveling, allows us to come travel to all these new resorts and check them out and things like that. So guys, thank you so much for snagging the merch. Once again, it's all linked in the description. If you do snag it, tag me on my Instagram so I can give you guys gear and sticker shoutouts. But also so you can know where we're riding each day. The vlogs are kind of ahead. We're like six, seven videos ahead normally. So if you're following the Instagram, you're getting the most up-to-date content, knowing where we're going to be. We're about to be on the East Coast and that trip change and everything like that. So follow the Instagram. We're going to be posting our schedule of that trip on the Instagram. Okay. Let's go change our lenses. It is puking. I haven't been in a snowstorm like this in a long time because it doesn't snow in Colorado anymore. No. Okay. So we were talking to a rental shop kid. So take this with a grain of salt, but he said that the third steepest resort or run is at this resort in the United States or Colorado or Colorado or the world one of the third steepest run somewhere yeah is here how many degrees is it <laughs> 53. <laughs> 53 we are gonna go ride a very steep run is what is if we can find it uh, looks like the sun's coming out again one of my favorite things about these old ski resorts are literally like the old list this thing you would see this in a photo on like a restaurant's you know like wall or whatever like the bar in the middle they're just unique they're just so old school and the fact that they're still running to this day pretty gnarly Can't see anything. 
guys, I can't see. So we had to put a little bit of a walk in to get into this place. Hopefully we find it, this go, because I don't want to walk that again. <laughs> yeah. We definitely uh, ventured to an area where no one's at. Yeah, we're still in that one. This is all the hike track or hike to terrain. So we want to go That's back. Straight up close right there though. We want to go this way. We want to go back up the mountain. We want to stay on that cat track. Or we're going to go all the way down. Hike. Yeah, we either hike now or we hike there. Sometimes you see a, a cat track that looks appetizing to send. So currently the thing I like most about this ski resort is the fact that all of their signs are snowboards. Like literally, like this is an old red right snowboard or something. And they use it for all of their run signs it's so sick the heathen is one of the steepest inbound runs in colorado with a pitch of 52 degrees riptide transit right there where it goes past the the green line is oh man we're gonna die someone's locked up here we're literally wandering around looking for a steep run i really wish it wasn't cloudy <laughs> so we could see the view i just guess we strap in <laughs> You did do Corbett's. We yeah. both did Corbett's. That sucked. That was Looking rough. down it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, I don't know if we're going to find this run, but we're going to try. We're going to find something. We're going to find a run. We're going to get down the mountain, that's for sure. thumbnail real quick do we go this way or is this it i say it's down to the left here be my guess yeah a little to the left that's gnarly knob no, or this is it yeah it's, just... it's this <laughs> not the steepest run <laughs> yeah don't do that on the run because you won't stop <laughs> head first down the steepest run <laughs> that was terrifying is this it I'm so confused. It's not the peak, it's not it's an avalanche. Oh, there is an avalanche. Let's go get in it. All right, here we go. Woo! I'm skipping. Woo I'm not gonna lie. I was like totally expecting like a rocky shoot out a bull. Yeah. Still sick. Resorts like these blow my mind though because dude, there's some gnarly terrain here. There's a lot of terrain here. It's fun. I'm having a blast. The runs are great. The snow feels awesome. It looks like they got a ton of it too, but it's like off the radar. Like no one in Colorado comes here and rides. I don't know why. It's almost like a local's mountain because it's sick. Like this could be just as big as any other ski resort. And like Glenwood's not the tiniest town around. Like I feel like it could be something. It is something. It is something. With that being said, sunlight. Thanks for having us out here, by the way. Hooking us up with tickets and like letting us come explore your mountain. We're having a blast out here. So guys, shout out, shout out to Sunlight for having us. If you guys have not checked out this resort yet and you live in Denver and you just want to get away from those crazy crowds on the weekends or just just period, come check out this place. This place is special. Oh, oh, my guy. <laughs> Let me tell you about my best friend. Slingshot. Also, if you come from Denver, you could stay in these condos. Ski in, ski out, baby. All right, one more to the top. Here we go.
All right, so we're getting close to the end of our day here. It's been super sick. It's puked the entire day. It's probably snowed like three inches while we've been here, which is awesome for ripping. A little tough for you guys. Sorry about all the watermarks on the camera, but you know, we make videos on the mountain. It's kind of the case. But yeah, Sunlight is a super sick ski resort. The, one of the things that I liked most about it is they have their own soda with their own like information of the mountain and everything on it and stuff like that. They call it Sunny Pop. And if you buy a six pack day pass, you get a six pack of the soda, which is just so cool and so unique. And that's what I love about these tiny ski resorts. And I'm sure you guys are wondering like, Jonathan, why are you even at this tiny ski resort? And it's because guys, we're gonna ride every resort in the United States. And in order to do that, we have to come to a bunch of these tiny, small mom and pop ones. The ones in Colorado are still pretty big. Like this is a big mountain. But, you know, as compared to other Colorado ones, it's small. But that's why we were in Michigan last, like, two weeks ago. We were ripping. That was a ton of fun. So we're going to ride every resort in the United States. And the way you can track that is by going to resortskimaps.com. It's a resort map that has every resort in the U.S., all the green ones. We have ridden all the red ones. We need to go there. On the top right corner, we have our schedule. So you can click that, see where we're going to ride this year. The schedule can always change, by the way. And it, we had to change a bunch of stuff already this season. So just know that uh, if it says we're going to come that day, there's a good chance, but it can always change. But anyways, yeah, resortskiwaps.com is insane. And uh, if you want to follow along with us on the journey of riding every resort in the United States, that is a great place to do it. Also by subscribing. All right, here we go. A couple more. Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? I enjoyed that run. care if a resort has a tiny park. I just care that they have one and they do. They have something to kind of spark that kid's interest into snowboarding in the park and everything like that. It means a lot to me that they were, they were willing to build one of those. So. Sick day boys. That was Chimunk by the way. It is freezing. I'm, I'm frozen everywhere. So with that team up guys, thank you so much for shredding with us today and as always thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video because it is daily on this channel. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life frozen or whatever he says. <laughs>